Researchers are exploring whether injecting millions of tiny diamond particles into the stratosphere could help reflect sunlight back into space, potentially reducing global temperatures. Recent findings published in Geophysical Research Letters suggest this might be a feasible solution, but how does it work? What makes diamond dust special compared to other methods? And could it be the answer to fighting climate change? In this video, we'll explore the science, challenges, and potential impact of this innovative approach. Researchers from a multi-institutional team, including climatologists and earth scientists, wanted to explore new ways to reduce global temperatures using a technique called solar geoengineering. The idea? Inject aerosols into the stratosphere to reflect sunlight, mimicking the effects of natural events like volcanic eruptions. But instead of using traditional materials like sulfur dioxide, they explored diamond dust as a potential candidate. In their study, they built a 3D climate model to simulate the effects of different aerosols, from calcite to diamond dust, on Earth's atmosphere. These models evaluated how each material would reflect sunlight, how long it would stay aloft, and its overall impact on global temperatures over a span of 45 years. The simulations indicated that diamond dust could be a game changer, with a cooling potential of 1.6 Celsius if 5 million tons were released into the stratosphere annually. This technique is similar to what happens when a volcano erupts. For example, the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines released millions of tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere creating a reflective layer that cooled the Earth by about 0.5 Celsius for a year. Inspired by this, scientists modeled various substances that could recreate such cooling effects, but with fewer drawbacks. Unlike sulfur dioxide, diamond dust has a significant advantage. It is chemically inert. This means that when released into the atmosphere, it doesn't react with other elements to form harmful compounds like sulfuric acid which could cause acid rain. It also doesn't contribute to ozone depletion, a major concern with sulfur-based methods. This could make diamond dust a safer, albeit more expensive, alternative for solar radiation management. So, why is diamond dust considered special for this purpose? Diamonds are highly reflective, meaning they can bounce sunlight back into space effectively. This property is crucial when it comes to solar geoengineering, as the goal is to reduce the amount of solar radiation that reaches Earth's surface. When suspended in the stratosphere, diamond particles can create a thin, reflective barrier that helps cool the planet. The study's results showed that diamond dust remains airborne for longer periods without clumping together, unlike other materials that might cluster and settle faster. Clumping is a big problem in geoengineering because it can cause the particles to lose their effectiveness. Diamond dust's ability to stay suspended means it can maintain its reflective capabilities longer, making it more efficient. Comparing diamond dust to sulfur dioxide brings out some important contrasts. Sulfur dioxide is effective at reflecting sunlight, but it comes with significant downsides, such as forming sulfuric acid when it reacts with atmospheric moisture. This acid can fall back as acid rain, harming ecosystems and human infrastructure. Additionally, sulfur dioxide can damage the ozone layer, which protects us from harmful UV radiation. Diamond dust, on the other hand, doesn't pose these risks. Its inert nature means it won't create acid rain or harm the ozone. But this benefit comes with a steep price tag. According to the study, Implementing a diamond dust cooling plan could cost around $200 trillion by 2100, which is about 2,400 times more expensive than using sulfur dioxide. This staggering cost raises questions about its practicality, but it also challenges us to weigh the long-term benefits against the upfront investment. If we consider the potential benefits, cooling the planet by 1.6 degrees, Celsius could make a huge difference in mitigating the impacts of climate change, such as extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and disruptions to agriculture. 
For some regions, even a slight reduction in temperature could mean the difference between manageable climate changes and devastating consequences. Injecting diamond dust into the atmosphere comes with significant challenges, including the logistics of distributing 5 million tons of particles annually and the staggering cost of around $200 trillion. Additionally, while diamond dust is chemically inert, there are broader environmental uncertainties. Large-scale introduction of any material could alter natural atmospheric processes, potentially affecting cloud formation and precipitation patterns. Although diamond dust might seem safer compared to sulfur dioxide, further research is necessary to fully understand its long-term impact on atmospheric chemistry and potential effects on ecosystems if particles eventually settle on Earth. In addition to diamond dust, other geoengineering methods are being researched. Aluminum oxide, alumina aerosols, have emerged as a cost-effective option. Alumina particles scatter sunlight efficiently and remain suspended in the stratosphere longer. However, they carry potential risks such as impacts on air quality and concerns about neurological health if particles settle in the troposphere. Another method, marine cloud brightening, which involves spraying sea salt to enhance clouds over oceans, making them more reflective. This localized approach has shown promise in protecting regions like the Great Barrier Reef from heat stress, but requires more research to understand its broader environmental effects. A critical concern with all solar radiation management methods, including diamond dust, is the risk of termination shock. This phenomenon occurs if geoengineering efforts are abruptly halted, leading to a rapid temperature rebound as the masking effect of aerosol ceases while greenhouse gases remain in the atmosphere. This could result in severe ecological and social disruptions, as ecosystems and human communities would have less time to adapt to the sudden changes. Evaluating these risks is essential when considering long-term strategies for climate intervention. While geoengineering methods like diamond dust or alumina aerosols could offer temporary relief from warming, they cannot replace the need for emission reductions. A more comprehensive strategy might involve combining these methods with traditional approaches, like transitioning to renewable energy or improving carbon capture technologies. This dual approach could buy time for the implementation of sustainable practices, creating a balanced pathway toward climate stabilization. Public perception plays a crucial role in the acceptance or rejection of these projects. Many people are wary of large-scale interventions like spraying diamond dust, fearing potential ecological impacts, and the idea of altering natural systems. Similar concerns apply to other methods like marine cloud brightening and alumina aerosols due to uncertainties about their environmental effects. Also, policy decisions on geoengineering could be influenced by research, especially in regions heavily impacted by climate change. These areas might be more open to pilot projects that test new methods like diamond dust. However, it's crucial to proceed cautiously, ensuring a thorough understanding of long-term consequences before widespread implementation. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest in climate science and tech. Let us know in the comments what you think. Could diamond dust be the key to cooling our planet, or is it just another expensive idea? See you in the next video.